Can you not see that I am busy, human? Ah, oh, I see you have a medallion. Where did you get it? I see. How very enterprising of you. Though that is not the normal way that we select our students for the Academy. We Sith do encourage such independent thinking. You may even be a suitable candidate to join us. That is what you wish, I take it, to become a Sith. Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Perhaps none. Perhaps all the difference in the world. Either way, you possess enough raw power to intrigue me greatly. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? Ah, oh, good. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? I... Yes, yes. We are only servants to the... the Master. There's something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the Academy? Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? <laughs> that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? A diplomatic answer, if not the core of the matter. Our power is obvious. The question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Are you? I can see into your heart, young human and I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. 
As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. Ah, oh, there you are. My favorite prospect for the year. Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Darth Malak went there? Very interesting, isn't it, Master? Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone or as if you will get nothing out of it. 
Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. And so it should. It is central to our beliefs. It is my responsibility to replace my master when I am strong enough. My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. About myself. I am originally from Slaheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hutt. I'm sure you don't need to know more. You have had an excellent start. No problem. Didn't work. Oh, uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Kel Alwyn. I... oh, uh, nothing? Uh, yes, my master always says I'm too trusting. Too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't... you know. Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. Well, I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I, I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you, can I? I just don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now, I don't know. I just have so many doubts. But where would I go then? What would I do? Uh, I, I don't know. I never really thought about it. Maybe I should seek it out. Give it a try. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. Got it. It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. That's right. You might as well just go home, you know. There can only be one Sith this year, and that's me. You think I would tell you? I could, but what... You hanging around still? Don't you have your own... You think I... Well, you keep working. remember you from the colony. I can't... My name is Lasho. 
Remember it, for I'll be the one who earns the prestige to move on. You'll have to be satisfied with next year, I suppose. Do run along. Woohoo! If it isn't the freak from the colony. Hello, freak. Chardin's the name. Don't forget it. You'll have me to thank when you get kicked out of here. And go into the dueling room? <laughs> I've got better things to do than give you a fair fight. You can count on seeing me later, though. My lightsaber has your name on it. You can do better than I. This Mandalorian is proving more resistant than I expected. I'm trying to get him to tell us where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, all the serum combinations I'm using are proving ineffective. If I bring his drug threshold too high, he'll go into shock and be useless. Too low, and he just refuses to talk. It's been maddening. Certainly. Uh, just don't kill him, or send him into shock. He's supposed to be questioned, not executed. If you manage to get the location of his cash out of him, I'll be sure to pass on the good word to Master Yutha. We eat a What? Puna! Kawadopa ku! Pune Achuta! Kawadopa ku! Pali! Pune Pudo! Rap! Pune Pudo! Achuta! Puna! Tava dumpa! Pune Pachu! Gip! Gip! Puna! Tava dumpa! Pune Puna! What? What have you done? I told you not to put the prisoner into shock, didn't I? Now, how are we supposed to find out where the weapon cache is? Yutha will be furious. Ah, I may as well take this fool and dump him somewhere. He's useless. No problem. Got it. Ready. 
Yes? What do you wish? I am eager to get this over with. I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? I am not surprised. The fourth. You must impress me. The code of the Sith is the. There are a group of students who refused an order by Master Uthar to execute a group of civilians in the colony. Uthar declared that they would be executed themselves, but the students escaped and fled before the order could be carried out. We are certain that they have not left Korriban. No doubt they have not gotten far and are simply in hiding. We just do not know where exactly. If you were to locate them and carry out Uthar's order, I am sure he would be most appreciative. Shall I go on? I would suggest you talk to the other prospective Sith. I believe Lasha would be an excellent choice. She is too trusting. I have little doubt you could talk her into letting you help her somehow. Just make sure it is you who gains the advantage, not her. Be rude. The only other idea I can suggest to you is that you head into the Valley of the Dark Lords on the... It's possible you might find some art... I did. I also said that you didn't need to know more. Why are you asking? You know all that you need. Is there something else? You have had an excellent... Ready? Yes. On it. It's open.
You? I remember you from the... Just figure that out, did you? <laughs> it just so happened. I found an artifact that will impress Uthar far more than anything you... I don't have it just yet. I'll get it. <laughs> like I would... So what if it is? I'll get it eventually. Regardless, nothing good comes without a bit of a fight. Hmm, I suppose I could use some help. The artifact I know of certainly won't be easy to take. But why should I work with you? Hmm. No. So run along. You take a wrong turn somewhere? Dustal, is that you? Oh, lovely. It's father. Figures you'd show up after all this time. How did you manage to get inside the academy? Maybe it doesn't matter. Or maybe Master Uthar would be interested in knowing just what kind of company he has present here. Just why are you here, father? Not for me, I hope. Couldn't you have gotten yourself blown up on some ship and spared us this reunion? Dustal, what, what are you talking about? I, I thought you were dead. Too bad you didn't still think that. Or did you really think I'd be happy to see you? Look, everyone, it's Father. Come to rescue me at long last. Sure, he may have left Mother and I to die on Telos, but that doesn't matter. No, I didn't abandon you. The task force just arrived too late. Telos was in ruins, and your mother... I helped her wife. I looked for you. I swear I looked everywhere. Ah, oh, save it. You abandoned us long before. We were alone all during the wars, and even once you came back, you still didn't stay. I didn't have a choice. I was needed at... Yeah? Well, you were needed at home, too. You were needed when the bombing started, and I got captured. You know what? It doesn't matter. Not anymore. I have a new family now, a family that cares about me. I don't need you. The Sith? You can't mean that. No, the Sith killed your mother. The Sith destroyed Telos. So? You're the soldier, father. How many mothers have you killed? No, you've been brainwashed. The son I knew would never... You never knew me. You weren't even there to know me. So don't presume to tell me what I would or wouldn't do. I don't know what's been done to you, but you are coming with me out of here now. Touch me, old man, and I'll kill you. Get out. Get out of here before I tell the Sith that you're here. I don't need his protection. Not anymore. The Sith give me everything I need. You can't mean that. The Sith are... They're evil. They're the dark side. They they took me away from you and your mother. They're, they're what took you from me. No, they are not evil. They're not. The dark side is superior. You, you were at war long before they came along. The Sith war to conquer, to rule the helpless. I went to war for you, Dustal, for your freedom, your future. <laughs> I don't believe you. If I failed you, son, then it's, it's my failure. Please don't add to it by becoming part of something evil. Prove it. Prove that the Sith are so evil, and I'll... I'll think about it. Selene? She's the one who convinced me to come to the Academy with her. Why? Where did you get this? Look at it. It belongs to Master Uthar, doesn't it? Yes, it's his, but... He told me he... He said that she'd been lost on a mission in the Valley. This... This says that they... Killed her because she was hindering your progress. Superiority at any cost, Dustal. There's your evil. Or can you live with that? No. No, I can't. I, I have no idea. They lied to me. Well, there's the son I remember. Now, will you leave here? I... No. You go do whatever you have to, Father. I have some other friends here. I have to warn them what's going on. And maybe I can, you know, look around here and find out some more information. From the inside. Something that might help. I don't suppose there's any way I could talk you out of that, is there? I mean, you're not gonna do anything halfway. 
Sounds familiar. I guess it does. I'm proud of you, Dustin. You aren't hanging on to a lie after you see it for what it is. Not everyone could do that. Maybe after this is all over, we can talk. I'm still not sure about us, but I'll listen. Maybe we can get back to where we should have been. Oh, I'd like that. I'll go back to Telos when this is over. You can find me there. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, son. Good luck. What? What's on your mind? I think so. If he's anything like he used to be, Dustal hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll let the Sith trick him again. As for whether or not he'll be my son again, I... I don't know. He's so full of anger and hate. I wasn't expecting him to be like this. Well, maybe we can work it out. I, I hope so. I, I guess I'll have to wait and see. Thanks, by the way, for all your help. Yes, what's on your mind? If you're ready to talk, then yes. So am I. I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done. For my, for my wife, for Telos, for Dustal. But I can't. I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died. But it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much more. 
And whatever the Jedi did to you, they gave you that chance. Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon where you're going to have to make a choice. And there won't be any turning back. Well, then I hope I can save you from yourself.
Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! So you have heard about us. Yes, we ran away before Master Uthar could execute us. Is that so hard to believe? My name is Thalion May. The others here and myself refused to murder a bunch of people on a whim from Master Uthar. So here we are. We thought that becoming a Sith was what we always wanted, but that wasn't true. Now all we want is to get out of here. Fair enough? Help us? Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? You want to help us? All right, I can think of a way. We're stuck in these caves, obviously, or we would have been long gone. There's a passage to the surface through the caves, but we're blocked by some kind of large creature. We can't defeat it. If you could kill it and clear up the passageway for us, we could escape. That would be help enough. Can you do that? I'll believe that when I see it. But if you could, we would be grateful.
So, is there news? Is the passageway clear? It, it's clear? We can go. Thank you. This... I wasn't expecting help from anyone in the academy. I guess we aren't the only ones who don't agree with everything. Maybe. Maybe the Jedi will accept us. I've seen how evil the dark side is. Maybe I could try. At any rate, thank you again. You've saved our lives. We've had indications that there's a whole ancient Sith colony under this valley. Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Dak? That is you, isn't it? I, I, I hardly recognized you. It's been a long time, Jahani. What are you doing here? Did you fall to the dark side? I didn't fall, Jahani. I had my eyes opened. And don't look at me like that. Last I recall, you were having your own doubts. I was. I'm not anymore. Dak, you could... Save it. The Jedi aren't for me. Not anymore. Look, I'm not going to ask why a couple of Jedi are here in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I don't want to know. It's better that I don't. In fact, I'll just get out of here and leave you to whatever it is you're planning to do. Fair enough. Running away? Again? Why not? It's what I do best. Yes. Isn't it obvious? I don't want to talk about it here, however. I don't think there's much to talk about. Have it your way, Jahani. You always do. Look, I don't want to be here after you leave. There'll be too many questions, so ask what you have to ask and I'll be on my way. Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs, but Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. A star map? No, I haven't heard anything about that. Something like that could be in Nagasato's tomb, I suppose. That tomb's off-limits to the students. It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. No. A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. So do I. Goodbye, Dak. And thank you. Goodbye, Jahani. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like? There is little to tell. Dak and I were both Padawans. We joined the Order at the same time. He was a kind man, but frustrated. He felt the Jedi were too controlling, too limiting. More so than I did. 
when he decided to leave the order, he asked me to come with him. He... He, he said he loved me. No, I didn't. I enjoyed his company as a friend, but nothing further. I had no idea he felt as he did. He was angry at my refusal. I assumed that he would get over the hurt in time. I suppose such feelings can fester and darken, and they never go away. He reminds me of what I was when you found me in the grove. I... I feel sorry for him. But he has chosen his path, hasn't he? If I thought he would accept an offer of help, I would give it. Let us just move on, please. Yes? Yeah, what do you want? Korriban is a sin. Rumor has it that the leader of our clan at the time, Mandalore, did go down. They say the Sith. You have anything? Your choice. 